The Good Dish Test Kitchen, where we get a little nerdy about testing recipes so you don't have to. And today, The Good Dish Test Kitchen explores the best ways for making bacon. Bacon, bacon, and more bacon. <laughs> bacon made on a stovetop, as we all know, probably can be crispy and delicious, and it's the sizzle could win a Grammy, but Let's face it, when you make it on the stovetop, even though you can't deny the flavor and that smell that permeates your whole home, it makes a mess. It, it sputters all over your kitchen, all over your stove, and it may not be the best way to make bacon. And, you know, and that's, I, honestly, when we put things in the test kitchen, we're really trying to get to the bottom of every option is a good one. Bacon, anyway, is a good one. But what is the best way to make it? And which method can you use to cook it that is actually going to always yield great results? It turns out... The cooking method of your bacon can be quite controversial. It's dividing families, I'm told. So oh, we're yeah, dealing there with big are issues. Opinions. <laughs> big issues here. So today we're experimenting with three different methods for cooking bacon. Some of them might be a bit unconventional. Yeah, I think so. In the microwave, a brand new oven method where you twist the bacon and on the stove top, but with a little water. Yes, adding water. Okay. Let's begin with the microwave. This method is fast, cleanup mm -hmm. is minimal, that's why I like it. Here's what you do. You line a microwave-safe plate with some paper towel. You put a few strips of bacon down. Cover it with the paper towel right here on top. In the microwave, on high, three to five minutes. You want it crispy, you want to check it halfway through, sort of like when you cook chocolate, you want to do it in increments mm -hmm. to make sure that you don't go too far, because every microwave is slightly different. And? And Our beautiful results. Out. Here's the thing. Oh, here she is. So let's talk about the results here. Obviously, it was easy, we thought, putting it into the microwave. But the reality is the microwave bacon comes out flat. It looks lovely eye to eye here. But it de and it definitely does seem like the easiest. But I would argue because you have to go back and, and sort of check on it and, and look at it like you described, because the difference between perfectly cooked and burned is literally seconds. It does make it a little bit more challenging. It doesn't seem like you can do all that much at once. And as you can see here, they're actually not uniformly cooked. Mm -hmm. You have some pieces that are a little bit raw, some pieces that are a little bit burnt. It gives it that dried out texture that to me is not no. a perfect piece of bacon. Not perfect. Sorry, I'll still microwave. Eat it, but it's not perfect. <laughs> the next method for cooking bacon is a new trend, twisted and baked in the oven. It is taking TikTok by storm. Let's have a look. I have over two pounds of bacon here going on a lined baking sheet with parchment paper. Make sure you trim the edges, unlike me. And then I put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes, flipped it over, put it in for another 20 minutes. It turned out perfect. So you saw what they did there. They twisted the bacon, put it into the oven like this, and it comes out kind of fun. It looks pretty evenly cooked. Mm -hmm. The thing about making it when we tried it, though, in the test kitchen is that it kind of became messy to mm -hmm. make. It was hard to flip. She wants you to flip it halfway through. And it, it kind of actually becomes a bit of an arduous task. I, I feel like there's some crispness, crispness, but it's inconsistent. And also there's sort of some pockets where there is some extra fat right. pooling. Kind of good, but also not exactly what I was looking for. Not that crispness we're desiring. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our final cooking method, and this is interesting because there's a little chemistry happening here, is to cook your bacon in a skillet with a little bit of water. So you want to place the bacon into a cold pan, and you're going to space them evenly here, nonstick skillet here, and we're going to add just enough water to coat the surface of our pan and ever so slightly submerge the bacon. Not by much. I mean, we're literally just taking it up to the bare minimum of the edge here. You're going to turn that heat up and get it to a simmer. And as the water comes up to that boil, to that simmer, it actually helps the fat to slowly render. So you get a beautifully even cook on your bacon. And, you, and after the water has completely evaporated, what you then do is let the bacon continue to cook over a lower heat. So you turn it down to a medium, roughly. It'll take about seven minutes, and the bacon will perfectly crisp and brown. It stays lovely and even and flat, which makes it really easy for using in sandwiches and things like that. This is the result you end up with. I will give you one word of warning from experience. Sometimes at this stage in the cook process, it sputters a little bit. So just go ahead and like vent your pan with a lid like, that, like so. But look at this. Gorgeous, evenly cooked, tender, crispy piece of bacon. Let's hear a little crunch. Mm, 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 mm. Pliable, mm -hmm. not too crispy. 
The science to support it, of course, is once the water boils, it renders the bacon fat slowly. This does help prevent the bacon from burning. And the method to the madness is that lowering the heat halfway through the process actually gives bacon an even crispness and prevents shriveling. Mm, which that's one thing I noticed. Horrified it really by its shape. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm. Okay. So let's see it side by side. Here we go. I have the big reveal. Okay, great. Side by side, here is our, pro our professional results. We have the microwave version twisted in the oven, and then we have the stovetop in water. And I will say, pretty much by a landslide, mm -hmm. the best way for making bacon is stovetop in water. Who knew? Delicious. Mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. All right, when we come back, we're going to show you what mealtime looks like in our homes. Really? <laughs> Stay with us. Mm -hmm.